Lucas, what did it mean to you to make this Yankees team? Uh, I mean, kind of a dream come true. Uh, you know, I've been a Yankees fan for as a child, so quite a while. And uh, I feel like the Yankees are just the face of baseball. You know, everybody knows the earn your pinstripes type stuff. Uh, so to put them on for the first time and know like it became a reality was pretty special. What was it like when Aaron Boone called you and delivered that news? It was pretty emotional. I, I've been waiting for about four or five days because they kind of told me they didn't know yet, uh, weren't really sure. So, you know, I had my whole family here and it was kind of like, you know, when are we going to find out one way or another? So it was good that everybody was here. We got to celebrate together and kind of live it together. What type of a stress is that when you're waiting to find out whether or not you're in or out? Uh, it's a lot. I mean, I have three kids. Uh, I wanted my parents to be here. So just doing the travel arrangements, hotel arrangements, uh, not knowing it might be kind of all a waste. And I might have to drive to Scranton. Uh, it was pretty stressful. Now, you mentioned that you were a Yankees fan growing up, a Cowboys fan as well. And I noticed on Twitter, you actually made a mug back in the day, maybe manifesting this moment. Yeah, uh, it was a date with my wife now. We were just dating then. Uh, went to one of those pottery decorating places, and I kind of put in all my uh, colleges, high school, and I put Cowboys and Yankees on there because they were my favorite teams. Uh, and somehow the mug has made it this long. Uh, so like I said, it just put it into the earth. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, you haven't thrown a pitch in on a major league mound since 2015. What do you think it will be like when your number is called in that bullpen? I'm kind of hoping I don't think about it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some nerves, uh, but I'm sure once I get that first strike over the plate, you know, it'll all be gone and just back to pitching and trying to get the guy out. You were really a strikeout machine throughout spring training. What do you think led to all your success? Uh, if anything, I'm just different than the average player now. Everybody kind of sees 97. I obviously don't throw that, uh, so maybe I just throw too slow. What's it like being that lone lefty in the bullpen? Oh, it's not too bad. I don't think <laughs> about that at all. Uh, you know, you grew up with somebody that a lot of people know in Emmanuel Sanders. When did you first meet him, and what was that relationship like growing up? You both have succeeded in a major way when it comes to professional sports. Yeah, I mean, we've known each other since Little League. Uh, grew up playing baseball, basketball, running track together. Uh, he was in my wedding, so we've been close, you know, forever. And uh, we still keep in touch as much as we can. Uh, We've done rehab together, just a little bit of everything. So we've always supported each other from a small town, and we know how special it is graduating together and making it to the top level. What's one thing that you want them to know about you? Um, that I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not just all a spring training uh, success story. Uh, I've been doing this for a while. I've been successful. I just had a little bit of time off between big leagues. Solid, solid choice right there. And before I let you go, I know it's been a short time so far, but what's the best part about being a Yankee? Uh, just, you know, being back in the big stadium, uh, just all the, you know, good coffee machines, uh, stuff like that. <laughs> Lucas, thanks for the time and best of luck this season. Thank you.